very good to hear about um, Elon Musk is is very much a libertarian, and I'm very happy with his stance on um, on the way that comedy is being uh, affected by this uh, this thought police the wokeness. And he's sort of talking about wokeness as being a very destructive um, philosophy that allows people to be very very um, nasty towards other people and hide behind the cloak of wokeness and, and makes them a virtue signaler and they can say the most horrible things against people who are deemed to be politically incorrect and i agree with that i think it's a it's a very very uh dangerous uh, uh philosophy i think it will die i think it already is dying um and i think uh, there are certain comedians who are basically standing out against it because if you, if you really be, really want to be a comedian you have to basically just tell them where to go and uh, and not kowtow to that sort of intimidation uh, the other thing that um, another piece of news it sort of is related to Elon Musk in a way because it's to do with our um, to do with space research uh, I don't know if you've heard of the SLS but it's a, it's a huge rocket that uh, a number of contractors have uh, produced for um, for NASA, and uh, one of the biggest one of those is Boeing, and they've got their own problems, as you may have know, with um, with certain aircraft that have been bad, and also the uh, uh, one of the um, replacements for the uh, space shuttle that they were supposed to provide to to shuttle astronauts and cargo to the uh, space station. Uh, has had numerous problems and delays. The SLS is another one of their projects. It's supposed to use uh, proven technology, but it keeps getting delayed continually. It's a massive rocket with incredible power to take uh, uh, astronauts to the moon. But the trouble is it's not uh, reusable technology, so it costs an absolute packet. I think about a billion dollars per launch. Um, Whereas Elon Musk's Starship can uh, can do pretty well the same job at a fraction of the price, you know, a tenth of the price, something like that. So uh, because it's totally reusable, it's it's outdated, obsolete technology, and it's only uh, being um, uh, bolstered up because of the American political system, where states uh, want to get lots of contracts from NASA to to boost their employment. And so you've got competing states getting certain segments of the of the construction of the rocket, which also is very inefficient way of doing it, by the way, because it means all the parts have to be uh, sourced from different states, different geographical locations. Um, none of that occurs with SpaceX, uh, has a totally different business model to uh, to that, and uh, that's why they can produce an incredibly low price and obviously a reliable product because um, the Falcon 9 rocket has been incredibly reliable as a uh, space vehicle and now NASA is using it more and more. The defense industry, oh, sorry, defense department in America is using it. Um, they've given it the thumbs up, but the SLS has just been an absolute nightmare, has cost tens of billions of dollars which could have gone into much more productive investment and that still hasn't even got off the ground and uh, it's just a disgrace and um, and it's been delayed yet again i wish they just scrapped the whole thing and i wish nasa would sue all the contractors including boeing for uh, their, their incompetence but they've they've set up the contract so that there's no penalties for delays it's just ridiculous uh i don't know it, it just should never have happened it's um I don't know who was overseeing all the, the due diligence on this, but obviously no one. But it just, it's a bit like that ridiculous um, uh, situation we had in Australia with the submarines where we were getting, uh, we were going to ask for, for French nuclear submarines that actually got them, were paying, we were paying through the nose to have them de downgraded to diesel electric submarines, which is one of the most insane things I've ever heard of. It's simply because we didn't have a nuclear industry to basically fill up the spent uh, uranium when the uh, when the subs had run out of fuel. They'd need to be replenished, and we didn't have the infrastructure to provide that. So uh, we had to have diesel electric. Now we've got a new agreement with uh, America and the UK, which can provide 
uh, submarines that are nuclear for the life of the sub, the, the fuel will last there, so you don't need to have them replenished. So that's the big difference. So um, once we get the sub, it's operation. It, the, we don't have to worry about the nuclear fuel. It's it's looked after. Uh, but the same sort of thing with the SLS, a massive waste of government money, uh, like that French subcontract would have been. That was, thank God we got out of that. It still costs us a lot of money to, to get out of the contract, but still much better that we've uh, got a new um, a new arrangement, in my opinion. And it's a, and the Americans would, be, uh, would do well to basically scrap the SLS as well. Uh, just annoys me with all this, this waste. I was actually contemplating riding the bike up to uh, Clifton Beach today. I pumped up the tyres yesterday, so all in preparation. That's how long it's been since I've ridden the thing, because the, the tyres had been a little deflated. But um, considering I, I want to pick up some grog, uh, I can't do that until 10 o'clock at Liquorland. They're not open before then, so I'm going to head off to... Uh, get the bus to uh, to Smithfield and uh, that way I'll be able to pick up a couple of even cheaper bottles of gin from um, from Murphy's so I'm getting two bottles and I've got to get some greens I really feel bad not having my greens I've had any um, spinach for quite a few days and just having slight withdrawals over that um, it's quite pleasant at the moment because there's a slight breeze and it's overcast and it's not too hot, but yesterday I was contemplating riding to uh, Clifton Beach, but the temperature, once it hit the afternoon, it, it just stayed uh, stubbornly above 30 degrees, said it felt like 35 degrees, uh, and it didn't actually go down um, even up till 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Normally, the temperature would drop about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but yesterday, for some reason, it was just... It was hanging around at that temperature right until 5 p.m. So I said, stuff this, it's just way too, too hot. So I didn't even bother trying. I mean, I get puffed when, I, when riding when it's cooler weather. This time of year, it's just not for any long ride, not a 10 kilometer round trip, it's just too much. So call me a wimp, but that's how I feel about it. So, right now it's quite pleasant. It was quite pleasant yesterday morning too, but you know, as soon as you get to, to the late morning, that just starts uh, becoming an oven. And it was noticeably hotter than it is now. Although it's only just before nine o'clock now, so it's not quite that bad. Uh, we're on a Sunday schedule, so uh, there's not that many buses available. One an hour, basically, so. Uh, it's about the same time though, for, you know, the schedule wise, but just this, instead of having two choices every half hour, it's one every hour, so yeah, it's uh, 11 past the hour, which is what it normally is anyway, but it's 11 past and 41 past, of course, when you're in a weekday situation, so, but I'm just happy the buses are running because I am quite isolated here without it. Other thing I was going to talk about was uh, Christmas Day went fairly well. It was interesting to meet new people because um, uh, Lynn had a number of friends that she'd met through social uh, networking, and uh, the one that actually gave me a lift she's only met two weeks ago, so I was quite surprised at that one. Um, and uh, she had a bit of a story herself. She it, it's, a, it's an example of how tough this COVID thing can be. She actually, her, her mother, who had dementia, died in October th uh, this year. And because of the COVID restrictions between the state and what have you, I think she was living, she died in uh, New South Wales and they tried to get the body down to, to Victoria. And apparently that was a real hassle because of all the restrictions. And on top of that, she couldn't come to the funeral herself and had to watch it from Darwin. It's uh, been pretty rough. So um, she couldn't actually um, uh, watch her mum's uh, own funeral uh, 
in person. She had to do it from another state. I don't know why it was Darwin. I've got to, I can't remember what the reasoning for that was, but it just shows how cruel that can be with all these border restrictions and what have you. And it's not just a matter of a medical situation with people. It's about psychological family situations. It causes a lot of distress. Well, I'm now waiting for the uh, bus. It's only going to be about a quarter of an hour wait, so that's not too bad when you consider the buses come every hour, assuming it turns up on time at Middley. Yeah, it's a bit of a ghost town here. Um, very quiet uh, overall. Not many people in the main uh, part of Smithfield Shopping Centre and uh, Dan Murphy's is a real ghost town. There was uh, only another customer there. and Yeah, it wasn't much activity. Um, and the banks the same thing pretty quiet and uh, there were a few people in the supermarket but there were no specials on I thought there might be some post uh, Christmas specials but nothing that's a bit disappointing um, so I've got most of the things I've got I, I, the, um, the home brand uh, dates at uh, Coles aren't in stock because I'm going to get an order delivered later in the week uh, but they do, they did have them at, um, at Woolworths, so that was good. So I'm, I'm going to still get my fill of, um, of El Cheapo pitted dates, so that's good. And I've got other stuff I needed. Still haven't seen any diced um, uh, beef on special, which you normally get uh, sometimes during the week, about 50% of the time. Uh, it's pretty expensive at the moment, about 13, 14 bucks, so uh, it's gone up in price. There's no discount, so. I'm going to have to wait and hope that that uh, reduces. Uh, we'll see. Seems to be luck. There's no one else waiting for the bus now, so it's pretty quiet. Um, and like I say, not that many passengers going in. Um, it was half of, so there were a few, quite a few people not wearing masks. Um, majority are. Um, but that includes supermarkets, so it's, like I said, it's a bit more laid back up here when it comes to that. Everyone on the bus seems to, seems to be the exception. Um, and as I say, the consequences of these um, these mandates, like stopping people travelling into state, can have devastating effects on individuals, like um, the the girl who gave who kindly gave me a lift down to uh, Lynn's place for Christmas Day. Um, yeah, she's still pretty cut up over it, which is fair enough. I mean, it's only in October that uh, Mum died, so that would be pretty traumatic. Also, dealing with someone with Alzheimer's would be pretty difficult too, um, very hard. Um, so yeah, it can be a pretty lot, tough life at times. Um, so it can be a hard road, but uh, you've got to take the rough with the smooth, unfortunately. The day itself was quite good. Uh, one of the amusing things was that um, uh, Lynn gave his gave her son a, a, a VR unit, so he had this virtual reality unit strapped to his head uh, nearly the whole time we were there, and he had these controllers and he was sort of moving them up and down in through thin air. It looked like he was, almost looked like he was dancing, but he's probably doing some climbing or something in the context of the game that he was playing. Who knows? But he basically wasn't there. He didn't even eat the same food as he had spaghetti instead of the normal Christmas fare. So uh, he was there physically, but <laughs> that's about it. I don't think he was there spiritually. Uh, but it was quite a pleasant day, and um, and the the uh, friends uh, that Lynn had seemed nice. Um, they uh, were fairly friendly, and. Um, her mum was there and uh, they gave me presents so I felt really bad about that um, but uh, she actually Lynn gave me something I really did need which was a couple of beer glasses so that was good that's why I freak out about giving presents one of the reasons is uh, getting the right present for the person as it cooled down later in the day we could then be on the balcony outside and, and there was a little bit of a breeze and, and the main road that um, Lynn is near was quite quiet uh, Christmas Day, so that was even better than usual. And she had to pull out the back. We retired to that near the end before I got a lift back home. So all in all, very nice. We had stacks of food, and no one would try my stout. I was a bit disappointed. I wanted, I wanted uh, Lynn's mum to try it, but uh, yeah, they said oh, maybe later. <laughs> That's a polite way of saying no thanks. <laughs> it can be anyway.
So anyway, but it was it was a good Christmas, and just good to get out of the house and do something different. Yesterday I was just uh, lounged and watched a bit of the, um, of the English uh, cricket collapse as they batted their way to oblivion on the first day of the the, uh, the Boxing Day test. One of the interesting things about the Boxing Day test was very few people there. I, I, they were expecting a bumper crowd. It was not a bumper crowd. There's a lot of empty seats. So that was surprising. And, uh, and also today I noticed there were a couple of, as I was waiting for the bus, a couple of planes went overhead so that the aircraft uh, um, uh, frequency has definitely increased uh, again since the lull Christmas Eve. Anyway, happy to get the uh, all the shopping done and uh, retire home and um, and have some uh, coffee, which I always enjoy in the morning. Well, um, we've had bucket loads of rain in the last 24 to 48 hours. Uh, you can see how much there is just looking at the uh, the grass there. It's uh, just a pool of water. I. Uh, I walked across this bit here just to get to my um, compost bin and the thongs. I was just just really for every footstep sank into the ground. Just that much moisture there at the moment. So yeah, we've had a really big dumping of of rain, pretty well constant rain for you know around 24 hours or so. So you could see the uh, the result of that. I've noticed also I've got a uh, a flash an article up on screen which I think is quite uh, revealing and that's about the um, situation with the Omicron uh, strain how it's uh, it's incredibly uh, contagious but it doesn't seem to be causing much grief and I think that's great news and I think um, that uh, you know it's 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 it'd be great if the um, the press actually made it quite clear that things aren't as bad as people are making out and were more responsible and weren't looking for sensationalistic headlines because there is a lot of grief happening at the moment because of the uh, COVID situation. Uh, I know a lot of people up here, they've been, the, the tourist industry has been screaming about the fact that, uh, they, that people need to have PCR tests and they reckon that... Uh, they need to get a couple of them, and now they're going to basically go to the antigen tests because the the state government was pressured by uh, business so much. It, it's um, apparently four hundred thousand people wanted to come up to Queensland for holidays. It just you know, it makes sense because they're just sick of being locked down down south. So uh, it shouldn't really surprise anybody. The demand has been penned up. So, um, but it is good to see that. Uh, the press, at least, at least the Daily Mail, is admitting there that uh, that the uh, the Omicron is not causing havoc in uh, in hospitals and ICU units and that type of thing. It's um, it's actually just getting people more more people infected, more herd immunity, which should in effect be a good thing. So we should uh, take it more of a positive. Anyway, that's uh, that's basically my report from a very damp and cool cans quite pleasant actually in that respect but uh, very damp please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever and uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic do both that'd be great